Last time on its Nate and Sam world. My, my kids and, and, and Alan, Alan, I want you to know that Pastor Joe is your grandfather. What? No, Dad. Don't tell that boy that he that he's uh his uh grandson, Pastor Joe Stevenson. That's my grandfather. I'm s no, Alan, 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 Alan. Dad, we, we need to have a serious talk when we get home. Dad! Why he told me that? Why? 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 You should have told me that at a right time, but like right now, that was the wrong time to do that at that funeral. I, I don't know. I don't know. Alan? Hey, Nate. He didn't have to tell you that. I'm with you on that, and, um... I'm so sorry. No, it's not your fault. I know, I know, I know, Alan. I know how that feels. I found out almost about last year, I found out I had a mother. And it was kind of hurtful. It, it was kind of hurtful. I was mad at the time. And, and I know how you're going through. And I know the struggle. But I don't want you to go through that. And you know, I'm gonna to talk to my dad about that. And we're gonna talk it out, all right? Nate, I want to let you know, thank you so much for understanding. Because right now, I feel really hurt right now. And I need my space. Can you just give me that, please? Wherever you want, Al. okay. I'm just going to go uh, take a while for a while, and uh, I'll be right back, okay? I'll be back. Alan, Alan. I love you, Nate. I love you too, Alan. Bye. 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 One minute later. Y'all, Alan Nate, y'all right? Out. Oh, that's you, Nate. Where's Alan?
Alan, uh, he he went for a walk, and he don't want to talk to you right now. So I, I don't blame him either. He don't want to talk to me right now. Why? You told him about Pastor Joe. Oh. Ah, uh, yeah. The funeral. Yeah, I should never have told him that. Pastor Joe. That's his grandfather. I, I, I didn't. I was not even thinking straight. You should have told him at the right time. Right now, that's not the time and the place right now to tell him that's his uh, grandfather. Yeah, I should have told him at the right time. Get to think. Think. Use that head of yours. It's not up there for decorations at all. Use it. But Dad, you should have told him. Boy, you better take some bass off your voice. You don't talk to me like that. Okay? I'm not going to take no bass out of my voice. I'm talking to you. Oh, wow. Boy, you in this house. You respect my rules. You don't talk to me any old type of way. Do you understand me, boy? Huh? Okay. Matter of fact, I wanted to tell you. I thought it was going to be the right time, but I'm going to tell you right now. What you got to tell me? What? I am moving to Chicago permanently for my wife. You moving to Chicago? When you gonna tell me this? Nate, you should have told me this when you got home. I don't care. I, 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 was, I was about to tell you in a, a good, happy moment, but right now, I'm going to tell you, I'm moving. I'm very highly disappointed in you, Nate. Very highly. And matter of fact, I just found out today, when I was uh, about to come back here, I found out my wife is pregnant. Wait, your girl is pregnant? This is actually a prank, right? No, this is not a prank. This is real. Nate! Come on, man. I can't take this anymore. I'm out. All right, go ahead. Get out. Get out. I don't want to see you no more. Get out. I'm going to get out. I'm going to get out. You don't have to see me no more. I'm not coming back. I'll come back and get my stuff, but I'm not coming back here. All right, bye. He should have told me. He should have told me. That he was going to New York, not New York, to Chicago. To be continued on its Nate and Sam and Ellen world.